Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. Today's video is about the things I get most complimented on and I wanna share them with you so you can adapt them and get compliments too. Getting a compliment is a confidence boost for everybody I know and probably also for you. One of the benefits of dressing well is not that you just get better service, people respect you more, but naturally you'll also get more compliments. Because you dress up, people automatically assume you know about clothes, they also assume a certain level of wealth and status, and they just think of you more highly. In my experience, it's also a great conversation starter, so if you're a little shyer, receiving a compliment is a perfect way to start the conversation. Now, unfortunately, a lot of people aren't used to getting compliments. Once they dress up, they get them. They don't know how to reply properly. Because of that, we did a video on how to reply and accept and take a compliment, and you should definitely check it out here. Now, I like to dress up, and in 95% of the cases, I'm always the best dressed man in the room or in the situation, and because of that, I stand out in a certain way. I do so subtly, and most people can't pinpoint it. At the same time, it just earns me compliments automatically. Dressing differently, and especially dressing up, will earn you compliments too. I'll guarantee it. Over the years, I've received a lot of compliments, and so I sat down and thought about what I'm most complimented on and what are the things that I earn compliments for, so you can cut right through the chase and do it yourself as well. One, I often get complimented on my general outfit or on the way I look. Sometimes people will say, hey, great suit, man, even though it's a sport coat combination. And so all I do is thanks and smile because I don't wanna insult a person and not give other people compliments in the future and also don't look like a jerk. Most of the time, people will just say, hey, you look really great. And I don't notice all the individual elements that are in my outfit, but they just think overall, it's very pleasing to their eye. In order to create outfits like that, you want to have a harmonious outfit with no single item that stands out too much. You can do that with colors and with patterns, with textures, and it's really too much to discuss in one video. So I suggest you check out our videos here regularly on this channel and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Two, boutonnieres. Probably the single most item I get complimented for are the little lapel flowers or boutonnieres. While most men haven't heard of them today, they're actually something that have been around in classic menswear for a long time. They've just fallen out of favor because it was a lot of work to get a fresh cut boutonniere from your florist every day. Not only was it expensive, but you also needed a florist close by that knew how to make a boutonniere. Unfortunately, in this day and age, it's very rare to find a florist who can actually do that. While on a cruise, I realized I wanted to wear boutonnieres a lot more, but I couldn't find them, so I decided to design them myself, and we created silk boutonnieres that look like real flowers, but they're actually not. It has the advantage that they will never wilt, you can wear them day in and day out, and it's also a lot less expensive. It's really such a simple thing, and it takes even less time than putting in a pocket square. In our shop, we also have over 40 different kinds and different colors. So no matter what colors you prefer, or if you have a lot of blue tones or red tones, we have the right flowers for you. The minute you wear it, no matter where you're at the airport, at restaurants, at a meeting, people will always notice and compliment you on it. Honestly, that's not just my experience. I talk to lots of customers and my father-in-law, my father, whoever wears it gets the compliment. The third item I get a lot of compliments for are colorful gloves. Obviously, you can only wear them during the colder months of the year or during the transitioning seasons, but if you go with unlined gloves, you really only can't wear them in the summer. Most men today wear either black gloves or brown gloves. However, elegant gentlemen in the past would often wear gray gloves because they weren't as dull as black and they would combine with a lot more items. Also, they would have chamois yellow gloves or burgundy gloves or very light cognac colored gloves. Because of that, I decided to design a range of gloves in different colors and materials with a little button for a little twist that provided a really great range of movements out of very soft leathers in colors that are easy to combine in your outfits. So if you're in a market for a pair of gloves, I urge you to check out our shop because we have gray, we have burgundy, we have dark green, we have petrol blue, we have cognac, we have brown, and anything else you would wanna have in a nice pair of gloves. We even have bronze rust orange gloves. Because most men wear boring black and brown gloves, I always get a compliment from at least one person whenever I wear them. The fourth thing I'm probably most complimented on is a three-piece suit. 
people won't say, oh, what an awesome, great three-piece suit, because sometimes they won't even notice. But I can tell that I get more compliments with three-piece suits than with two-piece suits. I suspect that's because a three-piece suit is less common. It also shows less of your shirt. At the same time, you wear your jacket unbuttoned and people can see the pattern of the suit and it just provides a different air around your appearance. So if you're in the market for a suit, consider getting a three-piece suit next time because that way you can wear it as such or maybe combine it with other items in your wardrobe. The fifth thing I get most complimented on is probably my rope stripe navy suit. While some people think of it as an Al Capone suit, most people really like it. And for some reason they think it's a 30 suit, even though the 30 suit is not quite cut in the same way, but most people are not so familiar with the intricacies of suit cuts and they just associate a double braced peak lapel suit with stripes with this kind of era. It's just a very interesting look and some people would consider you to be a banker or someone of a certain standing because other people would not wear a suit like that. The funny thing about this rope stripe suit is that it was actually my first quality suit and it was from Ralph Lauren Purple Label. At a time, I could have never afforded it new, so I just bought it off eBay for a few hundred bucks. But it was an investment and it's to this day the favorite suit of my wife. So I wear it on occasion and whenever I do, she's particularly pleased. The sixth thing I'm complimented on most often are vests. I love to wear vests, especially during the fall winter season because they add another layer to my outfits. They keep me warm, yet they provide an opportunity for me to change the look of the exactly same outfit with just a very small investment. My favorite odd vest to combine is probably the burgundy vest. And you can learn more about odd vests and how I combine them in this video here. The seventh thing I get most complimented on are jackets in an unusual color. Most men today wear colors in, let's say, black, charcoal, or some form of navy. If you wear a different color jacket, such as this brown and off-white Prince of Wales check with a blue overblad, it just shows that you are different than other men. And the same is true if I wear, for example, a green jacket or a seersucker jacket or any kind of thing that is just outside of the usual realm of what most men would wear. This is not only true for suit jackets, blazers, or spoke coats, but also for more casual items. For example, the other day I took a walk around the lake with my light green linen safari jacket and three separate people stopped me and complimented me on my jacket, as well as on my driving gloves. One man even went so far as to ask me where I got it so he could get one himself. Another jacket I get complimented on very often is a quilted jacket made out of a houndstooth tweed in brown, green, and caramel colors. It's something I wear a lot during the transitioning season, sometimes just over things or when I run some errands, and people always look at it and are like, wow, this is an awesome jacket, where did you get that? So if you want compliments, try to get something that is out of the ordinary without being too flashy. No one wants a bright orange or bright red suit because that's just over the top. If you go with subtle patterns and colors such as brown, that's enough to make a difference and stand out and earn a compliment. The eighth thing I'm most complimented on are bow ties. Most men today either don't wear any form of neckwear or maybe they wear ties, but very rarely do they wear bow ties. It takes a certain kind of man that can pull off a bow tie, and if you're not sure you can, I urge you to watch the video on how to pull off a bow tie, because I firmly believe that every man can do it, and once you do so, you become more confident, and automatically you'll get more compliments. I know, some people associate a bow tie with a certain kind of standing, such as a college professor, but you can even pull them off as a young guy and it's just about a matter of confidence and how you combine them with your colors. So all of these eight things are something that you can do as well in your wardrobe and I guarantee you once you make those changes you will get compliments left and right. In today's outfit I am wearing a more untraditional suit in the sense that it is a Prince of Wales check with an overplate. Most of the time people only see this as a sport coat, but not as a suit. That in itself makes it special. Because of the blue overplate, I combine it with a mid-blue dress shirt from Sidney Skalki, and with it, I have a bow tie from Fort Belvedere in a shanting silk fabric that is red and blue. Because of that, it's not a very bright color, 
but it's very subtle and it goes well with the shirt and the suit, yet it provides a certain amount of contrast. The yellow stripe likewise provides contrast in my bow tie, but it's also picked up by my bright tan shoes. My pocket square is also from Fort Belvedere, and it's in a different kind of blue tone that just ties everything together. My socks are solid brown with clocks, and I can wear them very well with this outfit because it's not a solid suit or not a solid pair of pants, but a patterned pair. Because of that, it's very easy to combine solid socks with it. To learn more about how to combine shoes with socks and pants, please check out this video here. Because blue is the number one accent color in this outfit, I went with a gold ring and the blue stone, as well as a light blue delphinium boutonniere, because like I said, boutonnieres are the number one item I get compliments for. You can find all of these accessories in our shop here. If you enjoyed this video, definitely make sure to watch the video on how to take and accept the compliment, because otherwise it's a moot point to get compliments in the first place.